So we're going to head back to our interview with NASA research scientist Ben Hamlington. So without getting too technical, can you explain to our viewers why there's an advantage to study this phenomena from space, from satellites, as opposed to what's available to us on the ground? Yes, yeah, so just really importantly, satellites allow us to have this very broad view of the global ocean. So we can make measurements of the entire ocean. I like to say that sea level is a global problem, but the impacts are local. So we can understand the processes driving sea level change globally, while also understanding sea level rise on a local level that's really important for planners. Yeah, so we have a lot of coastal communities here in Northern California. We've begun to hear some of them discuss what we call managed retreat, basically meaning it's going to be unsustainable at some time in the not too distant future to live in some of these areas. Talk to us about some of the impacts that we could see, you know, in the coming decades in this area. Yeah, so the way I like to think of sea level rise is kind of a layering effect. So with climate change and global warming, we're really increasing that foundation upon which other things like tides and storms travel. So as that, that foundation and, and global warming continues, we would expect some of the impacts to start to increase coastal flooding, to increase along the West Coast. We haven't seen a great deal of that along the West Coast to date, but over the coming decades, we'd really expect that to start to accelerate and some of these different adaptation strategies to really become more important. All right, Ben, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.